Welcome to a brief presentation of the newest member of the Interacoustics product family, the new AC40. This webinar is to provide you an introduction to the AC40 and the new Diagnostic Suite 2.0. The development and testing of the AC40 has gone through multiple testing phases to provide a high quality product to the end user. Through the vetting process, we are confident in the release of the AC40 to meet the needs of the professional as a two-channel clinical audiometer solution. The new AC40 began development in 2008 with the goals of updating the Interacoustics product line, implement new tests and features to this well-known and classic audiometer, and to continue with the Interacoustics presence of offering hybrid functionality. There are many similarities of the AC40 and the AD629 products, which we will provide to you now. These two models have the option of purchasing as a standalone unit only or as a hybrid model. The hybrid model allows for operation as a standalone, PC only, or PC operation through the device. This allows multiple users to work on the same machine and satisfy their preferred mode of operation, whether it be the familiar classic feel of an audiometer keyboard or utilizing the power of a PC. Similarities of the AC40 and 8629 include a multitude of tests including the integrated WAV files for pre-recorded speech, QuickSyn, Master Hearing Aid, Hearing Loss Simulator, TENS Test, SISI, Langenbeck, Houston Westlake, and Beckesee. The high frequency is also available as an upgradable option for both models. The sync functionality is available on the AC40 and 8629 when the user does not want to use the device within PC but does require the records to be saved in electronic format. Also, direct connectivity to external devices such as a printer or PC keyboard to improve performance in the standalone mode. And finally, both models allow for internal storage when user preference is for standalone functionality and saving records within the device. With so many similarities between these two models, it is important to note the differences. The differences are specific to the hardware as well as the testing capabilities. The AC40 allows for two-channel audiometry where complex mixing of stimuli is presented within one channel. This functionality is available in the AC40 standalone product as well as the hybrid version. The AD629 only has this functionality in the hybrid version when utilizing Diagnostic Suite. When looking at the hardware of the products, the AC40 offers additional ports for increased functionality of the device. These include three transducer outputs versus the 8629 has two transducer outputs, two bone outputs versus one, free field amplifier, two patient response buttons, HDMI output for an external monitor, and four free field outputs versus the two typically used, which will be accessible for future integration. Additional differences include a larger display of 8.4 inches on the AC40 versus the 5.7 inch display on the 8629. Both devices do have internal storage, but there is 1,000 patient storage for the AC40 versus 500 on the 8629. Differences in the testing function include the TENS test, where this test is available in both standalone and hybrid models on the AC40, but only the hybrid model for the 8629. The AC40 also has the capability of masking level difference testing and multi-frequency. A new test stimuli now available through Interacoustics is the Pediatric Noise Stimuli, labeled as PED. This Pediatric Noise Stimulus is a narrow band noise signal that is designed with very steep filter slopes and replaces the use of the narrow band masking noise as a stimulus for threshold assessment, in particular for pediatric testing and in sound field VRA testing. We will now list the improvements to Diagnostic Suite version 2.0. The changes include the addition of protocols. Now there are multiple protocols to select from or creation of a new protocol is available. Current session of the client's records is similar to the functionality of Equinox and Affinity Suite, where more than one previous session can be visible when selected. DB step change has been added to the main screen, and two new features are added to this software release, which include masking help and auto masking. Additional counseling overlays have been added for improved user interface. The overlays available include phoneme examples, sound examples, 
speech banana, and severity indicators. A new tinnitus symbol is available for selection and documentation purposes. The comment section allows for visualization of any added comments by the examiner, as well as accessing the report editor. All input-output selections are visible for one easy mouse click rather than the previous drop-down menus. Accessing of all tests through the menu, including the Quixin. The exception is the Houston Westlake and Becasey that can run in standalone mode only for now. Moving to the speech screen, the layout is similar to the Equinox and Affinity Suite, where the audiogram is displayed along with the pure tone average. The speech tests are accessed through clicking on the test name and then selecting the audio selection to be used when using the WAV files. You can also use mic or CD in the speech screen selection. When running in hybrid mode, the 8629 and the AC40 will now show the intensity and frequency information on the top of the display screen on the device, whereas before it just said PC controlled and online mode. There are many advantages that come with offering a hybrid product to a professional. Not only can PC products offer future safe solutions that can be upgraded as new software is released, but it can allow a multi-user facility to satisfy all professional and their preferred mode of operation. In addition, the results can be stored directly in a database for easy recovery as well as integration to an electronic medical record system. Hybrid functionality and utilizing Diagnostic Suite allows for customizable print layouts. This allows for creation of printouts specific to the facility or even user. As other interacoustic products are utilized for impedance and video otoscopy, these results can also be incorporated into the print layout for a convenient and comprehensive report. Thank you for your attention to this brief overview of the new AC40 and Diagnostic Suite 2.0. We at Interacoustics look forward to assisting you with this product. Additional comprehensive training is coming soon.